Vladimir Putin. He's 62 years old. Some people think he looks like a vampire. He's been the man in charge of Russia since 2000. And, oh yeah, no one knows where he is. Putin hasn't been seen in public since March 5th, and since then has canceled a trip to Kazakhstan, missed a meeting with his domestic intelligence service, and stood up two representatives from the rump nation of South Ossetia. The absence is a big deal in the Kremlin, where Putin is considered the alpha and omega of the Russian state. The fact that there's so little information about it and so much speculation about it is a symptom of the fact that it's a relatively authoritarian system based on one guy. So if that one guy is gone, people get worried. The theories are all over the place. Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty says Russians can't decide if he's ill, suffered a stroke, or even dead. There's also the political angle. It's been barely two weeks since the assassination of former Russian politician Boris Nemtsov, leading to speculation that Putin could be hiding from allies of Nemtsov. He is no Nervous, Putin. Putin's no reports. Even though everyone no, thinks he's behind the that's uh, pure speculation, of course, though, isn't everything. It? I mean, the government, meanwhile, is pushing back on reports anything is wrong with its president. There is absolutely no reason for any doubts about the state of his health. His health is uh, is really perfect, and everything is is okay with him. The government also released a video on Friday purporting to show a recent meeting between Putin and Russia's chief judge. But ABC News says, hold on, the calendar usually seen on that desk isn't there, and there's no way to verify when the meeting actually happened. The takeaway: we'll know Putin's okay when we see him in public, and probably not a moment before. For Newsy, I'm Cliff Judy.